pie. So happy to have you here. Today I'm doing things that make you stylish. I brought up this idea in my last video and I had a couple people be like, yeah, you should do that. So that's what I'm doing. This list is probably things you have heard of, but maybe not things you thought of, if that makes sense. Like when you think of the title, things that make you stylish, maybe this didn't come to your head. My whole thought process is kind of like, if I saw somebody on the street wearing this, I would think they're stylish or that they have style, you know, they have their own personal unique style. So even though some of these things may be like oversaturated online, in person, it's not too saturated, so yeah. So starting with something I mentioned in the last video and what kind of prompted me to have this idea of doing this video is a black cord necklace. And I'm wearing one right now. I, with this particular item, I didn't choose it, it chose me. It was a gift from my mom and I really liked it. I really liked the pendant and I just feel like a black cord necklace looks good on everybody. Like actually everybody. I'll put like pictures on the screen. I feel it, it suits so many different types of aesthetics and it's just that like pop of contrast, you know, on the neck. I don't know, something about it. It's just black cord necklace. The next thing I wrote down is boots and high tops. And I know you're probably thinking like what? But if you really think about it, usually you'll see people with like low top Converse, low top shoes, whatever, like Sperry's or Nike's, etc. But when you see somebody with a high top, that kind of is a signifier to me that that person has style. If somebody chooses a tall boot over, over tennies, that lets me know like, oh, they, they're they into fashion, you know? They, they have a little bit of style. They didn't just go for the comfortable option. They like intentionally chose something that, that maybe might not be so comfortable. So when I see somebody wearing Doc Martens or any kind of boot or high top for that matter, like high top Jordans is that step above like a normal Jordan, high top Converse, um, high top Vans even, like, and just that, that couple extra inches of shoe, I don't know. It's stylish, it is. Ooh, I wrote down especially with shorts. I love the way boots with shorts look. I don't care what kind of boot it is. Cowboy boots, like the brown um, rider boots, moto boots, knee-high converse, you name it. A high boot with shorts, so good, so good. Um, the next signifier to me that somebody is stylish or has style is another one that's kind of like is that kind of boring? Maybe. But eyeliner. I feel like when somebody in person has eyeliner, I'm like, oh, they spent an extra, you know, it could be two minutes, it could be 30 minutes, it could be 40 minutes, depending on how good they are at um, doing eyeliner and like what type of eyeliner. Like I know goth girls like doing the really intricate, um, what is it called? Like graphic liner or even like winged eyeliner, like smudged punk eyeliner, emo eyeliner, any kind of eyeliner just kind of signifies to me that somebody like, I don't know, put a little bit more intention. That's kind of the whole gist of being stylish and having style is like intentionally going for a certain look and going out of your way. To kind of before I move on, I just wanna to touch base on the idea that confidence makes you stylish. It does not matter what you wear. You can walk outside in some Lululemon leggings and a little Brandy Melville tank top and if you're confident, that's style, okay? So um, yeah, I don't, I don't care. Wear whatever makes you feel confident. If you want to be crazy extra and you know, wear a tutu and whatever outside, like you go for it, you do you. You be the scene queen that I want to be inside in my heart. <laughs> so yeah, confidence makes you stylish. Okay. <laughs> Um, the next thing I wrote down is spiky hair. Spiky hair looks good on like pretty much everybody. If I saw a grandpa with Liberty Spikes and uh, a black cord necklace, I'd be like, okay, grandpa. <laughs> um, it could be like with the claw clip, kind of like, I just have like a bun on right now, but like, you know, the claw clip kind of spikes. Or if you are African-American and you kind of have, what is it called? I think it's called a poof. I'm not, not sure. Somebody educate me in the comments, but like the poof on top, I think looks really cute. Or um, Liberty Spikes are cool. 
I like Liberty Spikes or like the 90s, um, I think like Blink-182 era Limp Biscuit, like just the little, little spikes that guys wear. But um, for example, when I go thrifting, when I see somebody who's around my age and they have a claw clip in with some baggy cargo pants, I'm like, okay, stylish person, like we're on the same wave. <laughs> Next, I have down chokers. I love the way chokers look on people. Of course, my prime inspiration for this is Alice Cullen and her little velvet choker because I have that one and then I also have like the tattoo choker, the one that um, was really popular during like 2010 emo Tumblr era. Boba Soup, I love the way her black choker looks on her. It's kind of like a staple for her, I feel. It, it suits her really well. I do think the like tattoo choker balanced with like black hair looks really pretty. I love the way that looks. Um, the next thing I wrote down is nails. I think it looks good on everybody, especially my favorite right now is like the, the black chipped polish. I don't have my nails painted right now. I haven't had time to sit there and wait between coats. <laughs> That's what nobody talks about. Like when I see people talk about painting their nails, um, Lucy had commented about it. It, it takes so long, you gotta do the base coat. And then you gotta do a coat of the color and then another coat of the color perhaps or another color whatever and you gotta wait for like each layer to dry in between and then after all of that you have to do the top coat oh my gosh <laughs> so when i see somebody who obviously either spent the hour at the nail salon or took the time to do their own nails which also takes hours I think they're stylish. They put a lot of time and effort into something as small as like their nails. And you know that doesn't last long. <laughs> Two weeks max um, getting your nails done by yourself or by professionals. So um, the next thing I have down is body jewelry in uncommon places. When I see people with body jewelry in uncommon places, I know they're cool. Like that's just, there's no arguing, they're cool. <laughs> so what comes to mind for me is like toe rings and anklets. I personally wear a lot of anklets. I enjoy that, especially during the warmer months when you wear a lot of like shorts and skirts, the anklets can really shine. Toe rings are good for people who wear a lot of sandals. And then I wrote down waist chains. I know waist chains have origins um, within like the African community. So I don't wanna like, educate you wrong just if you want to wear a waist chain i would be aware that there's a history behind it especially like waist beads particularly i wrote on interesting belts that's kind of jewelry kind of my favorites are i need to stop talking with my hands <laughs> my favorites are i'm feeling a little insecure with my hair up my hair is my curtain i feel a little bit better oh belts yes my favorite are like studded and grommet belts um I feel like you can't go wrong with the like silver and black studded one. I also have the black on black. That looks really nice. Also wrote down thumb rings. I do have a thumb ring. I talked about it a little bit in my last video. I talked about like my personal style and where every single part of my style um, derived from, like the inspiration for it. Bracelets and cuffs too, I also talked about in that video. I love me some bracelets and cuffs. That's all I can think of so far. If I think of something else, maybe I'll make a part two. I thought I had more like unique things, um, but I guess I don't. I really do think that it's not a matter of like, how many crazy, cool, funky things you have. It's like the quality and intentionality of picking singular things, cool glasses, unique hair, and you don't have to have a cool, unique new piece every day. It could be the same unique necklace that you wear every day and that becomes your cartoon character outfit. Also, none of this matters if in here you are not a good person. <laughs> So like, who cares about everything I just said about being stylish and love yourself and be you. Don't try to be somebody you're not. And that's the real takeaway from this video. But a black cord necklace would be cool too. <laughs> okay, see you later, bro fist.